22-year-old Philip Ouma is getting a shot that could transform the fight against malaria. He's one of 15,000 African children participating in a phase three trial of a vaccine called RTSS. 30 years in development, it's the farthest any malaria vaccine candidate has ever gone. Researchers at trial sites here in Kenya say this could be a pivotal moment. A vaccine will be an amazing thing. If, if, you know, if it's successful, we'll, we'll see a big difference because malaria is still really a tremendous problem for children here. RTSS has been developed by GlaxoSmithKline and the PATH Malaria Vaccine Initiative. Preliminary results just released from 6,000 of the children in the trial, all between the ages of 5 months and 17 months, showed about a 50% drop in cases. It works by bolstering antibodies that fight malaria as soon as it attacks. What we try to duplicate with the vaccine is to stimulate the body's immune system to produce similar antibodies. Results from a younger age group in this trial, infants between 6 and 12 weeks old, are expected by the end of next year. The vaccine's makers say results from longer-term analysis for all age groups should be available by the end of 2014. If it meets expectations, the World Health Organization says it could recommend the vaccine as early as 2015. And rollout talks are already underway. Certainly the preparations for it are there. You know, so to go right from you know, discovery that this is in fact efficacious to you know, policy to implementation, all those conversations are happening. So everyone is, is ready. In the meantime, all eyes are on these small children in the trial who could be making history, whether they like it or not. Gary Stryker, Global Health Frontline News for CNN.